What's up, y'all? So, uh, I've got my Model A here. It's my own personal car. Uh, we finished this back in 2004 or five, so it's been on the road for a long time now. Held up good, cool little car, um, but I decided it was time to make a few little changes, uh, you know, make it look a little different, change it up. I got some wheels, got some pulleys, um, brackets for the engine, uh, and we may do a little bit to the interior as well, just to bring it, give it a little bit different look. All right, to give you a little background in this car, my dad started building this thing back a long time ago, probably in the late 70s, early 80s probably. It is an all steel car, body, hood, uh, running board, fenders. It's a real deal. Um, Henry Ford steel car, 31 Ford, two door sedan, small block Chevrolet, turbo 350, Mustang 2, uh, GM 10 bolt rear end. Still kind of know, you know, GM uh, steering column, 59 Chevrolet 60 gauge cluster. A Zuzu seat, so it was definitely your uh, your street rod built back from them, back before you know you could build a car out of a catalog, um, which is really cool in my opinion. I think so. I don't want to change this thing up a lot, just to put some wheels on it and do a few little subtle things, and hopefully keep it close the way it is. But yeah, super neat car. I put about twenty-five or thirty thousand miles on this thing. Um, used to drive it everywhere, especially after we finished it. Liberty Blue Pearl um, base clear. It's got some ghost flames in there. And uh, yeah, we're just about to change it up a little bit. Let us know what you think. So I've got these new Halibrand Sprint wheels. And the first thing we gotta do is put some of that Griot's Garage ceramic metal polish on them. They shined up nicely, and I love the look of the smooth black wall radials from Diamondback. Now let's get the old ones off and these new ones on. The front wheels are 15 by four and a half with a 165-80 tire. The rears are 15 by sevens with a 215-75 tire. I've always liked these Halibrand Sprint wheels and I think they give the car a simple but timeless hot rod look. I went with an inch narrower wheel on the back to try to suck the wheels up underneath the fenders. I think it looks a little better and also eliminated any rubbing that we had. I've always said wheels and stands can make or break a car. I think we nailed it this time. 